Hey everyone, today I wanted to do something a little fun. Uh, I have been working really hard on keeping my wardrobe really minimal and I just wanted to show you everything that I own. I live in the Midwest, which means that I go through all four seasons, summer, fall, winter, spring. That means that I have to have a wide array of clothes to fit all four seasons. So that's something that I have been really focusing on since I've moved here to uh, try to have as little as possible while still feeling like I have a lot to wear in all four seasons. So what you're going to see today is all four seasons worth of clothes, everything that I own, and I'm really excited to show it to you. It fits in two carry-on suitcases. I really wish that I could get it down to just fitting into one carry-on suitcase. However, some of the winter stuff that I own is kind of bulky. So that's why right now it fits in two carry-on suitcases. But I'm still really proud of that and I am hoping to keep getting my wardrobe down to the exact things that I love and to uh, get rid of everything that I don't want anymore. So let's get started. Let me show you everything that I own. So let's start with jackets. I own five jackets, which is a lot. <laughs> it's one of the bigger categories that I, had so, that I have, so I figured I would start with this one. This is my cardigan. It's a mint green cardigan from Old Navy, and I found this at Plato's Closet. I wear this a lot in the spring, obviously, because it's a very springy color, um, but I can definitely wear this as like an overlayer whenever I'm going into a professional setting um, all year round. So I, this is my cardigan. And then I own two sweatshirts. My favorite sweatshirt is this one. I found this one at the thrift store as well. It says Rocky Mountains, Colorado, and I really love this. It is a like high neck, which you can zip all the way up. Um, and it doesn't really do anything for wind, but it's like a fleecy material, I guess. This is my gym jacket. It is just black. I found this at the thrift store. It originally came from Walmart, I think. I really like this. It's very simple black zip up hoodie and it has pockets and it's pretty lightweight, so I wear this to the gym all the time. My fourth jacket is a denim jacket. I got this at Plato's and it's pretty short um, and then the sleeves don't go all the way down. I'm sure they can, but I just cuff them at like the three quarter length. And I wear this whenever I want to dress down a dress or whenever I want to dress up leggings. So this is a pretty versatile piece and I love this one a lot. My last jacket is a hoodie from my alma mater. I went to the Florida Gulf Coast University. I really like it, it's a fun color. I do wear this one a lot whenever I'm working. I work from home, so uh, definitely cozy up in a hoodie. Um, I wear this one a lot. So all of my jackets, um, these are pretty bulky items, like I said, but they're all pretty versatile. I can wear these in different seasons and things and in different events. So uh, I'm really happy with having this amount. Let's move on to shirts. Uh, I have seven shirts. I have a couple sleep shirts, but these are shirts that are like nice enough to wear out of the house. So I have seven of these for the entire year. Let me show you what they are. This one I found, did I find this? I think I found this at Plato's. Um, but this one I found, it's like a yellow and it's got ruffles down the V-neck. Um, and it's really lightweight and it's not like a meshy fabric, which a lot of my shirts are. So this one's really comfy and I'll actually end up wearing this one to bed too whenever I wear it. So I like this one a lot. This one is that meshy material. It's like completely see-through. It's a black V-neck tank top. I, believe it or not, looking at this, I found this in my deceased grandmother's closet. <laughs> and when we were cleaning out her house, I, I love her to pieces. And when we were cleaning out her house, I found this and I was like, this is so cute. <laughs> I don't understand why my grandma had this and I don't think I ever saw her wear it, but uh, now it's mine. This one is one of my favorites. Um, it is a tank top from Old Navy. So it's like a high neck, high back kind of tank top and it's blue and it's got a really cool pattern on it. I wear this all year round. I love this so much. This one I also got at Plato's. It's got like flower leaves on it, I think. And I like this one a lot because of the back. The back is like open and meshy and it's like in dark navy blue. So uh, I wear this one a lot, especially over the summer. This one is a like cream tank top and it's got a really cool design down the middle with like pinks and greens and stuff. And I actually wore this shirt when I was taking my engagement photos, which was super fun. Really flowy, really comfortable, 
and it's not as see-through as some of the other ones that I own, so this one is awesome. This one is really fun. So it's that same high neck situation as the other blue tank top, and it's got these really cool beadings on the back, or on the front, and then the back is that like high back thing going on too. So, and it's two layers of ruffles. So I actually, when I got this one, I considered getting rid of the other blue tank top that I have because they're the same build and they're pretty much the same color, but I just love them both so much. So I decided to keep them both. This one is my absolute favorite shirt that I own. It is a three quarter sleeve red mesh top. I, I know it looks big right now, but it's really not. Like it is, it is very flowy, but um, it's super, super comfortable and it has sleeves, which is nice because none of my other shirts do. So I wear this one a lot over leggings. I love this very, very much. And I guess I own eight. I didn't even think to talk about the one that I'm wearing. This is my eighth shirt. Got this like patterned thick fabric going on on the top and on the front and the back. And it's just a simple black. So This one's one of my favorites too. I like this one. So correction, eight shirts for the entire year. So I've got quite a few pairs of pants and it's because they all serve different purposes. So I have one pair of jeans, which I'm wearing right now. And then I only have one other pair of pants that have buttons on them, which are these gray pants. And they've got like studs on them and the studs have kind of fallen off over the years. But what's kind of fun is the studs will come off in the dryer and then they'll like end up ironed on to some of my other clothes. So I'll just put like a pair of leggings on or something and now they have one of these cool studs on them. So I think that's kind of fun. And then I have a lot of leggings. So I have two leggings that I wear like throughout the day. Um, these are like a darker gray, like a black almost, and these are lighter gray. And uh, I keep both of them because I wear leggings so often as pants. So it would be really annoying if I only owned one and had to do laundry like every three days or so just to be able to wear leggings for the next day. So I keep both of them just for convenience sake. And then I have three pairs of leggings that I wear to the gym. All of these I found at the thrift store, by the way. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. Um, these are just black capri leggings. Very simple and I also wear these throughout the day too if like to work or something and then these are super fun these are like a purple and pink rose legging and again they're capris and they're super comfortable and they're really fun and colorful so I like wearing these a lot to the gym my last pair of leggings are these dark blue ones and they're kind of showing up a lot lighter on camera than they actually are. They're actually a lot darker than this, but they've got a cool like craft design to them. And I just think they're fun. And then I have two pairs of sweatpants just because I love them both so much and I can't tell myself to get rid of them. So these are um, dark gray sweatpants. They're cinched on the bottom, so they can either be capris or full length sweatpants. So, and sometimes I'll wear these to the gym too. If I'm feeling super lazy, I'm just doing weights. And then my other pair of sweatpants are these beloved gray long sweatpants. <laughs> um, and I wear these a lot when I'm doing yoga or going to bed. So there's all my pants. Let's do shorts real quick because shorts are really, there's not very many of them. I only own three pairs of shorts. Jean shorts, more jean shorts, and then these. Funny story about these. I love these. These are um, originally from Walmart, I think, because I've seen them at Walmart before, but I found these also at the thrift store. And they're like cinched kind of cargo pants, um, or cargo shorts, I guess. They are so comfortable. I love these, and David hates these so much because he thinks that they're super ugly, but I don't care because they're so comfortable. I wear them hiking, I wear them camping, I wear them to the lake, I wear them to the beach, I wear them to the pool. I wear these all the time, love them. So three pairs of shorts, that's it. So on to different kinds of shirts than the ones that I just showed you, those that were kind of like blouses. These are more like comfy shirts and gym shirts and stuff like, and tank tops and things. This is a tank top. It says I stand on standing rock, water, water is life. And this I got as part of the fundraising campaign for the Standing Rock 
um, Sioux tribe issue with the Keystone Pipeline, and I am very, very supportive of that cause, so I have the shirt and I wear this all the time. This is just a simple black tank top that I've had since like high school. It's got stripes on it and it comes together in the back. I wear this to the gym, to bed, to do yoga, all kinds of stuff. This is another similar tank top. Like it's the same build, it's got that like joining in the back, but it's fun colors. It goes from like purple to dark blue stripes. And I'll wear this on my way to the lake or um, to the gym, I'll wear this hiking. And then my last tank top, so that makes four, is this white and pink striped one. Four comfy tank tops. And then onto my pajama shirts. I can also wear these like anytime, but I mostly wear them to bed. This is a long sleeve shirt from Texas. My dad got this um, on a business trip when I was in middle school and brought it back for me. So I like this one. This one's an old college shirt. Uh, this was actually my uniform when I was in the exercise science program at FGCU. And I've since cut it, so now it's a crop top. And I'll wear this to the gym mostly, but I'll wear it to do yoga and stuff too. My favorite shirt, my favorite like comfy shirt, is obviously my Hogwarts shirt. I got this one for Christmas, I think last year. Three comfy shirts, one, two, three. And then comfy shorts, so I'll wear these like I have three of them. I'll wear these to bed. I'll wear these to do like yard work and stuff. Um, I'll wear these on my way to the lake with my bathing suit on underneath. So here's the first ones. They're like a coral color, really comfy, and they roll really easy. These I will wear to the gym a lot. They're just, I think they're, yeah, Adidas. Um, they're just black and white shorts. These, I know, only serve one purpose. I can only wear these to bed, but they're like a purple polka dot, and they're the most comfiest thing that I've ever owned in my entire life, so. Can you tell what's important to me in my wardrobe is being comfortable? <laughs> so that's it for pajamas, I guess. Three shirts, three pairs of shorts. So let me show you my dresses. Right now I own four dresses, um, and we'll see if that sticks around. Let me show you. So this one is like a plum dress. This is actually my bridesmaid's dress for an upcoming wedding. So I am really looking forward to wearing this. Uh, unfortunately, I had to buy this new, so it's not zero waste, but I plan on holding onto it for a very long time because that was how I intended picking a bridesmaid's dress for her wedding was to make sure that it was something that I would keep wearing. This is my favorite dress. It is a black striped dress, and I'll put it on for you so you can see. This is something that I found at Marshall's, actually, when I was in high school, and it's got like a really frilly skirt and a really cool back to it. It's super comfortable, and it's like a cotton material, so it's really, really, really comfy and stretchy, and um, I'll wear my bathing suit under it, or I will just wear it with like a bandeau or a bralette on underneath since I only wear bralettes I don't wear actual bras so that's pretty convenient and I'll um, wear this all, all, all the time. This one was a really fun find and I'll put it on so you can actually see it on. This I found at the thrift store I wasn't even looking for dresses I was looking for a Christmas sweater and I found this and it was so cute and I put it on it fit me perfectly so I really really love this I wear it to parties, I wear it like on my birthday, to nicer events and stuff, to fun events. I'll wear this too because the sequins are really fun. I'm not normally like a flashy person with my clothing, but this one I find super fun. And the last dress that I own is this one. And I bought this to be my graduation dress back in college, but I didn't turn out to end up wearing it but I kept it because it is just so unbelievably cute with the like strapping on the front and on the back and uh, the really poofy skirt. I wore this to my uh, rehearsal dinner for my wedding, which I'll show you a picture of now. It's a really, really, really great dress and I think I'll keep it forever. It's super nice. 
And the last thing that I'll show you are my winter sweaters. So there are six of them. And this pretty much makes up my entire wardrobe in the winter. Like I don't, I really don't wear many of my other clothes. Most of them make it to the back of my closet um, during the winter. So this is pretty much all that I wear all winter long. And I will start with my favorite. This one is like an aquamarine teal um, knit sweater and it's super cozy and it's soft and I found this at the thrift store so it was super cheap as well. This one is my favorite. This one is a very lightweight shirt. It's tan and it's got these like holes in the front and then the entire back of it is holes too. So I have to wear a tank top with underneath this um, otherwise I'm freezing. But this one is pretty versatile. Um, I can wear this in like kind of cold weather. I can wear this in really cold weather and put like a big jacket over it. So I like this one too. This one is my Christmas sweater. <laughs> and uh, it's black and white and it's got rhinestones on it. You can see them kind of glittering. Um, and I know it doesn't like say anything to do with Christmas on it, but I wear this um, for Christmas because I think it looks very Christmassy and I'll also wear it throughout um, the rest of the winter too. But whenever I'm going to like a Christmas party or something and I'm not gonna wear a dress, this is what I wear. This one's really fun. This is a sweater that has, it's kind of like falling weird, but it's like a long turtleneck and it's a long sleeve sweater and it's knit. It's like a coral sweater. It's pretty simple, just a simple v-neck sweater from Old Navy. And this one I found at the thrift store too. And the last one, I do tend to wear this all year round because it's pretty lightweight. This is just a striped shirt, striped three-quarter sleeve shirt. And this one is from Old Navy as well from the thrift store. So actually I think I got this at Play-Doh's. So, but yeah, originally it's from Old Navy. And that's it. That's it, that's all I've got. Um, it might seem like a lot when I'm going through like each item by item. So three stacks of clothes um, is everything that I own for the entire year. This is everything from my dresser and everything from my closet. I hope you can count this as minimal. I count it as minimal because I um, have been working really hard to get it down to this. And the way I see it is every single one of these clothing items brings me joy. So I really enjoy all of them. I enjoy wearing all of them. I enjoy having all of them in my closet. And whenever I look in my closet, I always have something to wear. So that's why I wanted to show you all of the clothes that I own. And let me know down in the comments if you think that this is not very many clothes, if you think that this is pretty minimalistic, or if you think that this is a lot, if you have less, if you have more, let me know down in the comments down below because I'd love to hear that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then make sure to subscribe. I come out with videos three to four videos a week, depending on the week. So I'm um, having a super fun time uploading regularly. I love it. So definitely show your support and subscribe down below for new videos every other day. Thank you so much. I will see you guys later. Bye.